Alright guys, now of course gonna continue the battle itself. Yesterday we had Rhyperior coming through and I hope for him to do the same here. We're now 8-0 and we need, I do believe, 5 more wins. And so far we've seen teams that absolutely should beat in us, they failed to do so. <laughs> and I really hope that streak continues somehow. Um, <clears throat> Rhyperior still looks very good here. Um... I'm trying to like wrap my head around uh, how good Valplum really is here. Uh, it struggles versus Rotom, but besides that, I, I feel alright. Um, Tokyo is going to be nasty no matter how I twist and turn things at, you know, Max Airstream and whatnot. Um, Crustle could be good. But yeah, we're going to absolutely go Torkoal, Rhyperior, and Valplum. We'll see how it goes from there. <clears throat> Never thought I'd like out prioritize Crustle as it was supposed to be the main star, but it, just the matchup hasn't allowed us just yet. Um, I'm sure it comes soon enough. We're just I'm just gonna take that decision and get there. Um, but yeah, Grim Snarl is the one you know set up screens and whatnot. That's always annoying no matter what. Hence, if it leads off with that, which it doesn't, I would have gone for Star Rocks. All right, he didn't. So, I know this guy has Rock Blast. So what I'm going to do is go for an Overheat, activate that Eject button, and go to a mod that potentially can deal with this. I feel like he gets a free Shell Smash and very well wins due to it. I don't know how speedy he potentially is. But Overheat should uh, bring him down to the Sash anyway. Cool. <sighs> so now it's the question. I feel like Pyrrha is a better choice. So that's the route I'm taking. Because the way I see it, I have two options. Um, besides, you know, getting myself into the zone, um, Max Rockfall to get my special defense race. Um, Icicle Crash is his best attack to me, or Icicle Spear. Um, as, you know, water attacks are reduced. But I could be wrong. But we get as much HP as possible, and I really hope the game is, just, you know, set from here. It's actually quite nasty knowing that. Uh, no matter what I do, I don't have a proper response to this as I don't have any priority on my team. And Shell Smash Cloyster is, of course, faster than Valtlum ever could be in the Chlorophyll aspect. So, yeah. Just hope I actually take this well. Ugh. I would say I do, but yeah. You know, I survived this round, and but he still keeps his Dynamax form. This will do well over 50%. But at least I took it. So I'm happy, you know, had I not been... Uh, had I not been... I'm sorry, I'm kind of stumbling here. Um, <clears throat> had I not been able to Dynamax, you know, this Cloyster would have win. Simple as that. That's how good Cloyster is. But yeah, we're a plus two, we're a race in special defense, and um, depending on what he has left, we could hurt something really bad. He sends out Grimmsnarl. Do I sound greedy here, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure this guy can take me out. I think it's like close combat through power potentially. But that shouldn't be enough. I'll just max Quake here, I'll see how much he do. Or will he just screen up? Yeah, he'll absolutely screen up. That's fair. I get my special defense raised and I really hope whatever he has left, I shouldn't be forced to worry too much. Ah, yeah, that's... That's Grimmsnarl for you. 
So I guess it's going to try to go for one more attack on me, and I'm going to go for... I kind of want to go for Max Play her. Nope, Max Knuckle. Um, I think it's going to go for Spirit Break. Foul Play, ooh, it's going to sting though. Oh yeah, yeah, I did plenty. <laughs> nice. So, right, um, as far as here we are off, um, you know, clearly the special defense race will not matter whatsoever. But as far as here we are, he is aware. He can't talk. Um, I barely remember his team either. But um, he has a special defense race. Togekiss. Yeah. Yeah, that's not pretty. This is not good, is it? Um, you know, I sack plane where I what? But it's gonna Dynamax and Ear Stream directly, I think. I know I would. Um, <clears throat> I really need to think about this. I should have heat crashed. First Max Airstream and yeah, it will obliterate me. Tokis is so good in this meta. Oh, you hate to see it. Yeah, I'm not sure he crashed. Or you know, not sacked, I guess. Um I will be slower. Like the only way I see this going my way, which it won't, is um <coughs> try to go with for as much damage as possible. Um, I mean, potentially, he doesn't keep going for um, air slashes, I guess, but uh, from here on out, I think I lost. Because that will s just seal it. We do manage to live somehow, at least. Which is kind of scary, but yeah, we are not... We are not denting this. Ah, I should have seen it coming also. I cannot feel that was an underestimate from my side. No, he got the free setup, but we cloister and uh, follow that up with, of course, uh... <coughs> He did have to go for free airstreams, though. But yeah, like I said, I did absolutely a mistake here, but uh, at the same time, you know, I was gonna say you live and learn, but uh, that's not what I mean. <laughs> I got a bit greedy, and uh, it is as simple as that. Cloister clearly represented, you know, a key threat, and you know, air slash here is should KO me, or if not, flinch me at least. Flamethrower. Hmm. Oh, it's plenty. <laughs> Our first defeat, however, should be noted. It took us eight games until we lost. So, you know, I'm actually. I'm actually kind of fine with this. It would have been cool to go for a 13-0 streak, but you know, that was not gonna happen. Eventually, like I'm, you, you have to kind of um, come to the realization that eventually somebody's gonna get you. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I sound like really greedy, but more like I frustrated that um, I didn't play that smarter, knowing that it went to Grim Snarl, um, possibly because of uh, the situation he most likely wasn't, should have re responded to that. That's so you, that's so you don't lose that many points when you lose games, which is alright. Ah, uh, no. That's a Darmanitan. This is not a pretty sight now, is it? Um, hell, what do I even do? Like, Rhyperia is still kind of right, I guess. Hillelis looks to be cool. Like that, Weather Ball could be nice. I'm gonna lead off with Crustle this time. Crustle, Rhyperior, and. Um, 
I mean, Healers is plenty fun. Even without the sun, I should be alright. Because I feel Cloyster should be his strongest lead. Since Crushel, Crushel, Crustle is sturdy, I should deal well enough with whatever he decided to do, do from uh, turn 1. And it doesn't have a priority user besides potentially Shadow Sneak on his AD Slash. And we have Knockoff, which is like stellar. But this is going to be a tougher game. Like you start to see those copy paste teams and that's it's never pretty. Let's see, he starts off with Age Slash. Which is great for us. Because we can go for free knockoff. He shouldn't be able to do anything besides King Shielding. And I'm pretty sure he could be faster. He isn't faster at least. We got the knockoff going, which is incredible. And um uh, Gonna see weakness policy. Cool. And sword stance. So now that we know that I am faster, your best attack is Shadow Sneak. And the worst part about that is that I have still my third intact, so I am not really worried at all. So we get the Aegis Last out of the way, which is great. Because it needs to attack us. He could go for King Shield. I absolutely would have considered that myself. Just to kind of, um, you know, whittle me down, I guess. I don't think in the grand scheme of things that actually matters. I think he realizes that too. So here comes the Shadow Sneak. And it should bring us down. Actually, I think. Yeah. At least close to... That was a crit? Okay. No, I have no invest in, investment in my defense whatsoever, so... Thinking about it, I probably should have gone to Hillelix there. I could have preserved my sturdy. Knowing that that was the absolute obvious play ever. But yeah, Crustle is a sack play from here out. Brings in Jardos. Intimidate or Moxie? Intimidate. Um, the way I see it, they have two options. He could go for a max airstream. And uh, he should kind of do that, like dynamite directly and try to get something out of that. Um, so the way I see it, like it's either that or he goes for... Um, he's going to save Solar Beam or Solar Beam. Uh, either Dragon Dance or try to go for KO. Go for the KO directly. Cool. Um, this is not Moxie, I don't think that's that bad. And uh, I can easily go for a Volt Switch here with uh, Hillelisk. And he should switch out, for sure. <coughs> Let's see. He had their Manathon on the team, which is awful. Um, and Cloyster. So either sack something, or he tried to pivot. I'm Volt Switching no matter what, because he loses Jardos if he stays in. And at least I know he has nothing that I can't will, like Volt Switch against. Oh, Rotom, that is so good. That is so good, son. Oh, you hate to see it. <laughs> Alright, so we're in a good spot at least. Um, you know, I'm Dynamaxing here and go for Max Rockfall. And uh, he should... Like I, I, I've seen two options here. Um, either he dynamites himself trying to stall this out, which would have been fine, or he will with me. I think both ways are kind of good. Um, or he switches out, trying to preserve this. But I don't see Rodum being a key threat. I absolutely would have sacked Rodum here and see if I could get Myra up here to do something. I think the worst part is that, like, I've seen Rotoms far too often in Rotom Heat, um, and all of them tend to be offensive. None of them would care to Will-O-Wisp, and I don't know about that. 
The best aspect of Rotom is that it is a good defensive type and um, yeah, it, it just it bothers me. Um, for all the right reasons, I think it's good. It's a very good Pokemon. And I usually you see free attacks and uh, no Willow, so I kind of hope to see that change now. What will we see? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So this could be good for us. As I get a special defense raise, I shouldn't be able to knock out Rotom. Ah, I did, damn it. The reason I say that is because I kinda, not gonna lie, wanted to um, get a heat crash going to uh, make sure that the waterfall was weakened. But yeah, no, it's okay. Because my opponent here still has to go for at least one Dragon Dance to be able to outspeed Hillisk. Or he's super greedy and go directly for um, the Max Geyser. And uh, the problem with Max Geyser is that I don't believe that knocks us out. As I just reset the sun or reset the rock. Max Rock falls, so he's gonna activate my weakness policy. And then I just retaliate, so at least I hit him with neutral. And hopefully he knocks me out, so he'll just can go for scoff, um, <clears throat> scoff, thunderbolt, and just wrap the game. I'm just I'm really scared for something very niche happening, and I'm just gonna eat up whatever I said. But I'll take it for what it is. So Max Gacia. and please don't do too much. Yeah, we take it. That's good. So weakness policy activated, and we're gonna hit him back with neutral and max rockfall. And I, I think this is wrap. Like he could go for max airstream, I think, but that's not gonna help him. <coughs> As we're always gonna be faster. Um, the max rockfall does respectable damage. Let's see, is that weakness policy there too? No, it wasn't. But yeah, next hit is going to knock us out, and um, we get another Max Rockfall, so you must go for Max Geisha. So, I'm trying to look at this, um, like, how would I have played this? I would absolutely go for at least one Dragon Dance, if I were him. And um, that's just it. Like, I'm starting to, like, thinking the way he could have uh, wrapped this up smarter, but... Um, not to like be disrespectful to my opponent. I just think I should, he should absolutely dragon dance, even though he doesn't know that wouldn't matter. Because right now, I'm just confirming that I always will be faster. Had he gone for one dragon dance, he would have thought maybe he has this game in the bag. Now we know he lost, no matter what he do. Come on, buddy. Come on, let it go. And there we go. Whack. Um. Actually, when I'm using Jaros on um, um, on this rank game, when I did that in first season, I actually used Wakanberry Jaros because of all the Rotoms. It was just such a good response overall, and it made a ton of sense of actually bringing that. But yeah, one win, one loss, you know, I'll take it. We're getting stronger by the minute. Oh, I can check the posting team. You know what? Let's do that. Let's see, what was his idea? <coughs> yeah, this is a right set, right? I, I don't get behind that. Fully physical, always scary. This would have been a problem. Um, all right, crunch. You don't often see that. I kind of feel power whip is better, but crunch is a fair filler. Then we have bulk up, earthquake, taunt, close taunt. Why calm? Hope you aren't calm. Jesus Christ. It's shine, I guess. Yeah. And then relaxed. Re relaxed? What am I looking on here? What were the other. Jolly. Impish. Syrup. Rash. Were you rash, though? You know what? Fuck it. Um, <laughs> you never know. You know what they can use the mints and whatnot. They always scary kind of. <laughs> Looking at that, 
But yeah, you know, this will be for the session. I'm actually going to do one more session with this, guys. Um, did not gain as many points as I wanted to, so that was kind of disappointing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and you know, I'll see you next video. Until then, take care.